Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez, coming at you with a Tesla sales video. Um, I did not sell any. I will only buy. I will hopefully buy some in the next, well, whenever I can. The, not smart money, the experience that I have, that my friends have, that have been in it a lot longer than I have, to say, hey, listen, the last five, six trading days, it's up like 30, 40%. It's the fifth day in a row it's up. There's a, and, and my friend Dan, who had bought, as soon as the, the announcement of stock split, after hours, boom, bought 20 shares. And he has been slowly selling on the way up. Uh, and he sold the rest today. And I was like, why? Why would you do that? He says, you know, stock's up five days in a row. There's a good chance there's going to be a little bit of a pullback. And maybe he's right. Maybe there is. Maybe the, the people that bought it after the stock split, like, you know what? Five days in a row, I'm taking profit. And the day traders, that's what they do. I am not a day trader. I am not someone that says, okay, based on the candle and the hand, you know. No, I, I, I don't do that. I see, watch a bunch of news interviews with the CEO. I read the writing on the wall and I say, this is long-term stock. I'm so comfortable. If it goes to $2,000 tomorrow, I have $2,000 windfall. I buy another share. I'm 100% okay if it goes down to 1600 because I know eventually where it's going. So that is just my... That is my thesis on it. That's my thought process. And on the flip side of that, yes, you can definitely make a hell of a lot of money. Like if I buy at the top at 2,000, it goes down to 1,600, I will have another, I'll buy another share at 1,600 where someone will sell all they have at 2,000, they'll buy again at 1,600 and that's just day trading, that's just what they do. But um, that's, just, that's just not what I can do. I, I can't do it. Um, outside of that, the longer the S&P waits to announce Tesla, the longer they have to wait till they actually goes in. I'm in the camp that says the S&P will announce by this Friday. My friend Dan and everyone else are like, no, they're probably gonna, you know, mid-September, a few days before battery day. That is gonna cost so much freaking money, but I do not, again, it could go, it could retest the, you know, the 1700 mark and I'll buy there. Or it could go to like 20, 2200, 2100. I, I don't know, but I honestly think that with all of the news catalysts these next like couple of months, that it, it has a much better chance of going to the moon than it does to, you know, go down. And I, again, there could be, you know, go for three days, you know, then uh, consolidate for five days, run for three days, consolidate. Maybe that's the trend of what people will see again because Tesla's so Tesla's so volatile. I don't think that will be the case. Again, this is just my opinion. This is not financial advice. Not a financial advisor, even though I am. This is not um, anything. Please seek a licensed professional. This is just what I'm doing. I have 52 shares total. They are not for sale. I've seen many videos say like, "Oh, hundred thousand dollars a share, eighty-five thousand dollars a share." I'm I'm not one of those people. I think that yes, it could be twenty-five thousand dollars a share by the year 2030. Uh, or after the split, you know, it'll be uh, 5000 a share. And that's just if they do one split. I do foresee them in the future, like 2024, 2025, being able to do uh, another split. I'm working. What are you guys doing? I accidentally fell into the door. Okay. So anyway, I am, that, that's what I'm going to do. I If it's 5000 a share, I think that's too high after, the, that's after the split. So they're definitely going to add another $1,500, $2,000. They're probably going to split it again. So I see that this, will they do another five to one split? I don't know. But that is, uh, that's just what I do. I hope you enjoy the kids. Anyway, uh, I love you all. Um, wrap your whacker before you attack her. Because that's how you get kids. Anyway, guys, uh, I love you all. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Bye.